Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 4.10 from Nielsen and Reader book. So the question is consists of A and B. A is use the not voltage method to show that the output voltage V0 in the circuit in figure P4.10 is equal to the average value of the source voltages. And then B find V0 if V1 is 120. V2 is 60 volt and V3 is minus 30 volt. Okay, maybe let's try to do that. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current and let's go up all of them. So we will have this one here and let's set this node here as our ground. And what is the consequences? We will have this node here as V1. And then we will have this node here as V2 and so on. This node here is V3. And then the last node here is Vn. Okay. And because this is our ground. Okay. And this V0 is just V0 from the ground. So this node here will be node V0. Okay. We can do KCL at V0. So we'll have this. KCL at V0. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in will equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. There are N currents that goes in. So we can do that. So we will have V1 minus V0 divided by R. So we'll have V1 minus V0 divided by R. And then plus V2 minus V0 divided by R. And then plus so on until we will have Vn minus V0 divided by R. Okay. We have this one here. And that will equal to there is no current that goes out. So that all will equal to 0. Okay, now we can multiply both sides by R. Okay, so we will have this equal to V1 minus V0 plus V2 minus V0. And then plus blah, blah, blah. And then Vn minus V0. And that will equal to 0. Okay, now we split the V1, V2 until Vn. So we'll have V1 plus V2 plus V3 up until Vn. Right? And now we will have n number of V0 because we will have V0 here, V0 here until n. So we will have minus n multiplied by V0. And that will equal to 0. Okay, now we can we can move this minus n multiplied by V0 to the right hand side or we'll have n multiplied by V0 is equal to, let's put sigma notation here and Vn maybe, n is, I think Vi is better, yeah, i is equal to 1 until n and this one will be n. So we will have V0 is equal to sigma Vn divided by N. And this is, is the average source voltages. Average source voltages. Yeah, because the formula of average is just a sum divided by the number of it. So that is for the A. And for B, we can just plug the V1, V2, and V3. So we will have, for B, we will have V0 is just V1 plus V2 plus V3 divided by 3. Okay, what is V1? V1 is 120 and then plus 60. And then minus 30 divided by 3. 
Okay, maybe let's continue it here. So we will have V0 is 180 minus 30. That will be 150. 50 divided by 3. So finally, we will have V0 is equal to 50 volt. And that is the final answer for the question B. So this is for the question B and this is for the question A. And I think that's all for problem 4.10. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.